Hi guys, um, my name is Ben Howe. Um, I've been a advocate for OMF now for coming up to two years, I think. Um, and it's uh, a really uh, kind of important video for me to make for why I decided to choose OMF as um, the organisation of choice um, compared to some other advocacy. Um, efforts that, that I could have joined out there. Um, my basic role uh, for OMF um, it's encompassed a few really but it's primarily uh, as an outreach um, correspondent on the forum um, so on the Phoenix Rising forum um, where I um, have posted and basically been the messenger um, and uh, pass on information from OMF to the patients um, which struck me as something that was incredibly important to do that wasn't um, being done by any groups that I knew of um, because uh, one thing with this disease that we so desperately need is hope um, and I hadn't felt that or um, seen that on any forum myself um, as a patient and these forums have thousands of patients on um, so um, that's primarily my role um, and I occasionally get get involved slightly behind the scenes with um, doing some of the videos um, so I did a video of Ron Davis um, everybody's hero who um, who is obviously the director of the scientific advisory board for OMF um, and uh, that was a great honour to do that so it, basically my role is to uh, enable communication between the scientific um, side of OMF and, and the patient based side um, which um, are not mutually exclusive but um, that, that's basically it. Um, the reason I chose OMF um, as um, the uh, organisation of choice. Um, you have to forgive me, but my, my cognition's appalling. Um, the reason, yeah, I chose OMF was I was looking at different research. I come from a biochemistry background um, before I got ill. Um, that was what I was studying um, to go along with my um, fitness career. <laughs> and uh, I was looking at the science and some of it from you know as we're all desperate to get better um, some of it um, the science that was done was, was great you know we had work on NK cells and um, enteroviruses and um, viruses in general and immune deficiency and uh, a plethora of other things um, that we already had in the literature but we had no team uh, we had no um, collaborative effort putting all of this together and to me it I couldn't see a way um, that was possible that we were going to figure out this 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 monster of a disease um, that's so incredibly complex um, without having a collaborative effort so a couple of years ago I came across OMF um, and I couldn't believe it I, I couldn't believe we had the most incredible scientific kind of prowess in in the in Ron Davis um, for a start um, and in his scientific advisory board we already had this team out there that um, were working on the big data study I believe um, at the time um, and we had this this kind of uh, team that could could put everything together I believed I looked at the histories I looked at the biographies and it was just astounding that it, it, I'd never come across it earlier um, like I said we had all this kind of myopic research and kind of very narrow focused um, research um, probably for many reasons in the past but I felt that we really needed um, a team um, a collaborative and open um, research based approach um, to this and that's exactly what OMF provide um, as people are aware I'm sure that 
we've now got the Harvard um, collaborative MECFS collaborative centre which is um, unbelievable I think to, to be able to work with Stanford and um, the scientists there um, it, it's just the way I think to tackle the disease in my opinion um, to, to focus on multifaceted um, to, ha to take a multifaceted approach um, and um, yeah that's that's basically why I got involved um, so um, yeah it's it, it's been a couple of years now and in those two years I've so much has changed um, it, there was the big data study and various things going on but since then and this is off the top of my head so you have to bear with me but um, we've had the uh, nano needle um, which has proven to so far although it is preliminary I think we've had 17 patients perhaps I may be wrong but um, no nano needle kind of energy um, measurement um, device um, being developed being tested on patients and providing consistent results we've got the t-cell research with Mark Davis uh, another incredible scientist who is on the team um, we've got the capillary and the um, blood cell work which um, I believe is building on some of Les Simpson's uh, Les Simpson's work um, from maybe the 80s, but um, in much more detail um, with constructing mo models and various things. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we we've got um, I think it's the magnetic levitation device to measure the weight of uh, white blood cells. Um, <clears throat> I might be slightly off on some of this, I'm trying to remember offhand. Um, so yeah, um, we've had the five million dollar dollar donation um, from the incredible Pine from the research fund, um, which was fantastic. I was lucky to be involved in in some of the Bitcoin um, preparation months before um, with another patient to set that up, as that's one of my one of many interests. Um, I have um, and uh, with the community's efforts and amazing support on, on Reddit and the messages from the patients we managed to secure this ridiculous five million dollar donation um, and um, all of these you know various things the symposiums that have happened um, and the fact that they are live streamed and they're f for free um, and um, yeah, it gives it gives real momentum to the cause and real hope, I think, um, which is so important. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, kind of my story. I've been lucky enough as well to um, stay with Ron and um, Janet. Um, we have a real close relationship, um, and. Um, managed to stay with them in uh, California last February um, which was um, incredible really um, because I managed to see firsthand just how much um, effort goes into the illness um, it is literally and this isn't a hyperbole or anything but um, non-stop from Ron Davis's uh, perspective and also from Janet um, they work as a team they work as a unit um, and it's an incredible synergistic effort um, that is remarkable really um, and of course they have Whitney um, and uh, and they look after him 24-7 too um, whilst working on this disease and it, it's just mind-blowing and 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 my uh, experience with both of them was 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 beyond anything I could have expected. I also managed to meet um, Linda Tannenbaum, um, which is wonderful, um, and Marilyn as well, um, who obviously works behind um, the scenes somewhat for OMF um, as director of communications, and obviously Linda is CEO, and they are both um, fantastic. Um, they're both propelling the efforts into um, the scientific um, community in terms of um, conferences but also um, the, with the worldwide tour so kind of getting the word out there um, in a very dynamic and very um, first literally first person 
um, approach, um, which is really important. So not just working on science, but also being out there on the front lines, um, so to speak. Um, so that is amazing. Um, and I also met um, Ashley, um, Ron and um, Janet's daughter, who does an incredible amount behind the scenes, um, makes amazing videos, does so much advocacy, um, and I was so grateful to meet her um, <clears throat> because she works so, so hard for the cause and obviously for her brother, Whitney. Um, so yeah, um, I just wanted to do a video that's gone way longer than I expected due to improvisation and being ill. Um, that says why I voted, um, not voted, why I, why I support OMF um, primarily um, as as organisation of choice. Um, it's a really important topic for me. Um, when you're ill, directing your energies, you need to kind of be really, really um, vigilant. And for me, OMF is a total no-brainer. Um, so um, yeah, that's it really. Um, that's who I am. Um, hopefully, I help with the community somewhat, and hope hopefully I pass on the information as best I can. Um, so yeah, um, don't give up hope, and um, hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys soon. Take care.